Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Teresa Bacon Bagley, a professor and associate dean for research in the College of Health Professions at Grand Valley State University. This is a tutorial on rehabilitation through education where I'll be discussing traumatic brain injury and how it affects the functioning of the brain. Now the overall purpose of this tutorial is to gain a better understanding of how mild traumatic brain injury or concussion can affect how the brain functions. Now I do want to make a note that mild traumatic brain injury is the same thing as a concussion. In order to understand how a concussion can affect a brain function, we need to first understand the structure of the brain as well as how those structures of the brain function. This brief introduction to this tutorial will identify the goals, the objectives, and the organization in which this tutorial is presented. There are two main goals for this tutorial. The first one is to provide a self-paced module on knowledge regarding the structure and function of the human brain. The second is to provide a self-paced module on the effects of traumatic brain injury that's sustained in combat. There is enough research to show that the mechanism of injury in combat is different than that that's sustained in the civilian population. Now when we look at each one of those goals separately, there are specific objectives, things that are key to those goals. The objective is to describe the major anatomical areas of the brain and to describe the functional parts of the brain based on location within the brain. As we'll see in a few of these tutorials, each part of the brain has a specific function. And when one part of the brain is injured, then it will present with very specific manifestations based on the function of that area. Now looking at the second goal, which was to try and understand a little bit about the effects of TBI that's sustained in combat. Now there's many of these. We'll kind of briefly go through these. We're gonna define TBI and the levels of severity. There are different types of TBI based on how severe the injury is. Those levels are mild, moderate, or severe. We're gonna describe different techniques used to examine the brain, such as MRIs and other scans that are done. Define post-concussion syndrome, those manifestations that can occur after someone has a concussion. We're going to compare and contrast the mechanism of injury between combat-related and civilian traumatic brain injury. We're also gonna describe the effect of blast injury on the brain. We're gonna describe the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as identify the similarities and differences between a concussion and post-traumatic stress disorder. Some of those manifestations overlap between those two disorders. However, there are some unique characteristics of each one. We'll also be describing the following factors that have an impact on a concussion, such as repetitive or repeat injury, or the mechanism of injury, as well as the treatment modalities and how they impact the concussion and aftermath of the concussion. Now some of the online tutorials, these aren't all of them, but they're most of them, are identified on this slide. We're gonna go through the gross structure function of the human brain to understand a little bit about how the brain is put together. We're gonna look at eight different ways that science can actually look at the brain. We're gonna look a little bit at the cellular structure and function of the brain, the types of traumatic brain injury, blast-induced traumatic brain injury, look at and describe some of the manifestations of TBI and post-concussion syndrome, as well as the diagnosis and some of the treatment modalities that we have for the treatment of TBI. 
So let's get started. Let's go to the structure-functional relationship of the brain.